Hi, this tutorial is about how to prepare a binary phase diagram for publication using the binary plot option in the Chemic School software. To create a binary phase diagram, the first thing we have to do is to enter the X and Y limits. Click the Calculate button to see the changes. To remove the two plot points or symbols from the diagram, enter the command, minus S. Again, click the Calculate button to see the changes in the diagram. Remove the polyline by selecting Deactivate from the drop-down list. Insert title text in the upper text field. The text will center itself automatically. Let the x-axis represent the temperature in degrees Celsius. To insert the degree symbol in Windows, Hold the ALT key on the keyboard down during the insertion of the ASCII code 248. The degree symbol will be displayed when releasing the ALT key. Insert the Y-axis text. Select Data Set 2 by clicking below the red squared symbol. We will now insert the first of a total of 12 groups of data, all in Data Set 2, each group with a constant temperature. Click the Calculate button. We need to change the default scaling of the Y axis to logarithmic. To assign a symbol for each phase, do the following. For the gas phase, we choose the fifth symbol, a cross. To change the symbols, add the command for the fifth symbol, 5s. Copy and paste the command into the two other gas phase entries. Click the Calculate button to display the changes. For the rhombic phase we select symbol 6, a blue circle. To change the symbols, add the command for the sixth symbol, 6s. Copy and paste the command to all the rhombic phase entries. Again, click the Calculate button to display the changes. Choose the third symbol for the monoclinic phase and the fourth symbol for the liquid phase. We will speed up the copy and paste process for the rest of the 11 remaining groups. All the data in this tutorial was copied from an external text editor. As we may notice, each of the data groups has a fixed temperature but variable pressures.
Remove all the symbol text by clicking the left radio button using the text size options. To create the upper phase region, set off a few spline points, in this case 5 spline points by the mouse. Move the spline points in such a way that the spline curve isolates the circular symbols from the diamond and triangular symbols. Be sure that the spline endpoints is in direct contact with the rectangular frame of the binary diagram. To create a new spline curve, select spline number 2. Isolate a new phase region by setting off 5 new spline points between the diamond shaped symbols and the other symbols. Make sure that the endpoints of the new spline curve is in contact with the upper spline curve. To create the last spline curve, select spline number 3. Set off 5 new spline points above the cross-shaped symbols located in the lower region of the binary diagram. We now want to show the start of the monoclinic phase using a red filled circle. Select data set 1. Check the view coordinates checkbox. Find the start position of the monoclinic phase, represented by green diamonds, and take a note of the position. Insert the coordinates and the commands for the red symbol color and a big symbol. Click the calculate button to display the changes. We will use the same procedure to insert a red circle for the start point of the liquid phase, here represented by blue triangles, and the stop point for the monoclinic phase, represented by green diamonds. To label the gas phase in the lower region by text, find the coordinates of the wanted text start position and insert proper text and text commands in the data entry field. In this case the commands for giant font, thick font, minus symbol, and the ignore hide command.
To label the rest of the remaining phase regions by phase text, use the same procedure as in the previous gas phase example. We do not need to display the coordinates anymore so we can uncheck the view coordinates checkbox. To remove all the symbols, click the left symbol size button. The three red circular symbols we previously inserted at the start of each phase, disappeared when we selected to hide all the symbols. To make these selected symbols visible again, we have to add the ignore hide command that allows us to ignore the hide status for these three data entries. We will now fill each phase region by a color. Start by activating fill mode. Select a fill color. Insert the fill point in the gas region. Select a new fill point and a color. Insert the new fill point in the liquid phase region. As demonstrated here, it is possible to move the fill point by the mouse cursor. Select a new fill point and a color for the monoclinic phase region. Insert the fill point. Use the same procedure to colorize the rhombic phase region. In this case, we want to replace the default symbols in our legend box by filled rectangles. To insert filled rectangles, click the fill color checkbox and select a color. Insert the legend text for the lower region. To create a frame, Click the frame checkbox. To view the content of the legend box, move it to a better place using the mouse. Click the next radio button to insert text and color for the liquid region. Repeat what previously has been done, but now with different text and color for the monoclinic region. At last, Click the next radio button, insert text, and select a color for the rhombic region. To move the legend box, 
grab it using the left mouse key. If we need to hide the legend box, we simply change the size to zero by clicking the left radio button. Before we save the experiment, we have to give the experiment a name. Single click one of the list box elements and save the experiment by clicking the before or after push button. To create a high resolution diagram suitable for publication in a scientific journal, click the button with the two rectangles. Click the OK button to save the image to the clipboard. We can now paste the image into a paste enabled program such as Paint. Click Paste. As demonstrated here, the resolution of this pasted clipboard image is much higher than a low resolution screenshot. To preview the image before printing it, click on the file menu, select print, and print preview. To print the image, select print. It's just another Chemic School tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.